Well, I've been thinking about clay for many years, but certainly working on the Joan Miro show here at Tate Modern three years ago, it became apparent that they had a sympathy as artists, which made me think that it was worth pressing forward with an idea to, to make a clay show. Miro was a great admirer of clay. So he, he saw his work in publications in the 20s and there seems to be a sort of dialogue between them about the way they make art, the inventiveness, the variety, the complexity of their work they share. Although I'm not absolutely certain they ever met. Clay's a key figure for the early part of the 20th century because he opens up possibilities around thinking about creating uh, creating art. He thinks about abstraction, he thinks about drawing from the subconscious mind, and you see that in the complexity of uh, his output. It's one of the reasons why we thought of making this show purely chronological, because it reveals that he's doing all these things at the same time. We tend to think, well, you know, an artist will go through an abstract phase or go through a figurative phase, but Clay is doing this all at the same time. And it's incredibly fertile and cross-fertilizing, uh, the way in which he um, can make works that are quite different. And you've, I suppose one of the aspirations of the show is, it's almost as if you're stepping into his studio at any one time and you see this great variety of production. I think one reason why he's still of significance now is that he is a universal artist making great art for outside that time as well as responding to that time. But it's interesting that there hasn't been a, a big show in London for a decade and it felt like an opportunity to think again about this really key artist and to provides the possibility for a new generation to see his work and to experience the variety and complexity of his work.